Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to discuss rule number 4 or case number 4. In the last learning video, we have uh, taken rule number or case number 1, 2, 3 on the same topic. Also, here we are going to take rule number or case number 4. So, let us see this what this rule number 4 says. Let x is equal to e to the power ax into v. If this is the case, then pi is equal to 1 upon f of d into e to the power x into v. Now, there are variations in y. So, this v, this function v, can be e to the power ax, it can be x to the power m, or it can be sin ax or cos ax. Okay, so these are the possibilities. If this v is e to the power ax, then applying the law of indices, this case will reduce to first case. Okay, so case 4 reduces to case 1. And if, if this v is sin x or cos x or x to the power m, then it would be a problem on case number 4. So we reduce the case number uh, problem on case number 4 to problem on case number 2 or case number 3 as the case it may be. And then we have to apply those rule and get the pi okay so what this rule number four says this rule number four gives us uh, gives us a liberty to take out this e to the power x outside the differential this f of d but with the only condition that you just increment the value of d by the coefficient of x so you can take e to the power x outside one upon f of d plus a into v okay so let us take a problem on this so we have a problem on this. So as this is the very first problem of this, so we can start like given. So what is given to us? We are given this. Okay. And after that, because the problem is solved, so you have to find out so complementary function as well as particular integral. So what is its auxiliary equation? Its auxiliary equation is to find out the auxiliary equation for d is equal to m. So this is m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. m is equal to 1, 1, right? You can find out such things. Then what is cf? Now depending on the root, what are the nature of root? The nature of root is real and repeated. So this falls under the case number 2 of complementary function. So with the help of that case 2, you can write down complementary function as c1 is to the power x plus x into c2 e to the power x. As you know that if the roots are repeated, you have to multiply by the x to the second solution. Okay, so this is cf. Now we are interested in finding out pi. So what is pi? pi is equal to 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 1 okay so we have this into what is my right hand side e to the power 2x into sin 2x okay so this is a problem of this is a problem of case 4 okay so case 4 so what case 4 says you can take out this outside and just replace uh, actually, you can write this one as d square minus 2d plus 1. So, this is this is nothing but d minus 1 whole square. Or if you don't want, you can uh, write like this. Take out e to the power 2x outside. This is d plus 2 whole square minus 2 into d plus 2 plus 1 into sine 2x. Okay. Now, let us... Uh, Solve this denominator. So we'll be getting it. Uh, pi is equal to what is it? E to the power two x outside into one upon what is this? This is d square plus four d plus four, right? minus 2d minus 4 plus 1 so this get cancelled into sine 2x so this is nothing but now e to the power 2x into 1 upon what is this 
d square plus 4 minus 2 plus 2 d plus 1 into sin 2x. Okay, now this becomes a problem of, yes, correct, case number 2. Okay, so what this case number 2 says? Case number 2 says put d square is equal to minus of a square. What is a? That is 2 whole square is equal to minus 4. We get, what we get? We get uh, minus 4 plus 2d plus 1 which is equal to 2d minus 3. Okay. So, pi is equal to e to the power 2x into 1 upon 2d minus 3 into sin 2x. Okay. Now, as you know, this rule number 2 is only applicable for d square and we have 2d. So, you can make it 2d square. Okay, by, by multiplying and divide by its conjugate. So, this is 2d plus 3. This is 2d plus 3. Okay, dividing and multiply by its conjugate. So, this is e to the power 2x into 2d plus 3 operating on sin 2x upon, this is a minus b, a plus b. So, this is 4d square minus 9. So, just uh, apply rule number 2 again. So, rule number 2 says put d square is equal to minus 4 that we have already seen. So, this pi, this pi comes out to be e to the power 2x into 2 into derivative of sin 2x is cos 2x into 2 plus 3 into sin 2x. So, we are applying two steps at the same time here it is here it is 4 into minus 4 minus 9 so my pi is equal to e to the power 2x into 4 cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x by minus 69 minus 25 so this is my pi and we have already found out cf so, if this CF is clear, PI is clear, so you can write down the general solution. The general or complete solution is, the general solution is, what is it? Y is equal to CF plus PI. That is, Y is equal to, what is CF? C1 e to the power x plus x into C2 e to the power x plus PI. PI is e to the power 2x by 25. 4 cos 2x plus 3 sin 2x. Don't forget to write where the c1 and c2 are arbitrary function. Okay, so this is one problem on rule number 4. I can take one more uh, problem on the same topic but with a different variety. Okay, so just give me a moment to just write down that problem. Problem is solve. Example number two, solve d three y by dx cube minus three d two y by dx square plus three dy by dx plus one is equal to minus y is equal to e to the power x plus x into e to the power x. So, this is the problem given to us. Okay. Now, I think uh, you are smart enough to find out the complementary functions. You can just start with like uh, given this. That is, you can write in terms of d. So, this is d3 minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 operating on y is equal to you can write this one as d to the power x into 1 plus x right so 
let's uh, see if you can find out so i am uh, letting it for you to solve okay so you can solve cf and cf is comes out to be this is uh, d minus 1 cube so root would be 1 3 times so this is c1 e to the power x plus x into c2 e to the power x plus x square into c3 e to the power x okay or if you want you can write c1 plus c2 x plus c3 x square into e to the power x but i am not interested in this i am interested in uh, pi okay so what is pi here pi is equal to 1 upon d cube minus 3d square plus 3d minus 1 into e to the power x into 1 plus x so this is a problem of case 4 this is a problem of case 4 so what case 4 says case 4 uh, before i apply case 4 i would like to write it nicely like uh, this is d minus 1 whole cube so d minus 1 whole cube into e to the power x into 1 plus x apply case 4 so i am taking out e to the power x outside 1 upon this is what i need to do is i just need to replace d by d plus 1 so this is d plus 1 minus 1 whole cube into 1 plus x okay if it would be minus 2 so i have to replace d minus 2 whatever is the coefficient of x that would be come that would come here okay so this is very simple now what is this e to the power x into plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled 1 by d cube into 1 plus x okay what this d stands for this d stands for derivative with respect to x so what 1 by d 1 by d is the inverse of derivative what is inverse of derivative integration so 1 by d stands for integration with respect to x okay so 1 by d stands for integration with respect to x d square double integration d cube triple integration so my p a is p a is triple integration of 1 plus x dx so apply now e to the power x one time integration of this is x plus x square by 2 dx again apply so this would be in e to the power x integration of apply integration one more time this is x square by 2 plus x cube by 6 again apply integration one more time so you will get your pi so pi is equal to what is it e to the power x e to the power x into one more integration so this is uh, x cube by 6 plus x to the power 4 by 24 right yeah 6 3 plus 1 6 4 is a 24 yeah so this is my pi okay x cube by 6 x to the power 4 by 24 then write down the complete solution therefore the complete complete solution is y is equal to cf plus pi that is y is equal to c1 e to the power x plus x into c2 e to the power x plus x square into c3 e to the power x and what is my pi my pi is this e to the power x x cube by 6 plus x to the power 4 by 24 where what is this c1 c2 c3 the c1 c2 c3 are the c1 c2 c3 are arbitrary constant so if you want you can write here where c1 c2 and c3 are arbitrary constants so i hope this video lecture is making sense so you can uh, make use of it and try to solve problem based on case number four okay so first of all what you have to do you have to identify whether the problem is of rule which rule then you must remember what is that rule says and then you can apply okay so thank you for watching and happy learning